Damn, man, this is crazy. I remember a couple years ago when Safari got robbed, but I didn't know it was about his childhood best friend. So he got sentenced to 18 years for robbing him of 183,000 worth of jewelry. And he was the final person convicted in the 2018 armed robbery of Safari of Samuels in the pocket lot of his luxury apartment complex in Fort Lee. He now heads to state prison after he got sentenced to 18 years. And that's his, that was his childhood friend. Like they used to hang together as kids. Grow up, Safari ended up blowing up because he was dating Nicki Minaj and then he started doing his own career. And I know Safari, right after he got robbed, like two hours later, he went on an Angie Martinez show and was detailing everything, breaking down, crying, all that shit. Because I never knew Safari's background, but I know he's Jamaican, but he's not, or at least he, he don't portray that gangster image. He don't walk around like, oh, I'm thugged out. I got the goons. He might say stuff here and there, but as far as his overall persona, he never gave off, I'm the hood, I'm gangster, whatever. So when he got robbed, he went right to the interview, broke down crying, explaining why he got robbed. Most rappers, 99.9% .9 of rappers, if it didn't happen on camera, you would never hear about them getting robbed. So many rappers got robbed in the past, starting from the 80s, all the way up to now, but you would never hear about it though, because they're not gonna say, hey, I got robbed. They're gonna just keep it moving. But so many like mainstream rappers that we listen to every day, including Drake, matter of fact, and even me, I got robbed walking down my hood one time. I got caught slipping. I wasn't paying attention to the like surroundings. It was broad daylight, but luckily I ain't have nothing but about $10 on me and a, a cell phone. So. Once they put that gun in my face, I say, yo, take this $10, I don't give a fuck, I wanna go home, so I can understand like how it feels to get robbed, especially robbed by somebody who you trusted. Like They used to work together, I'm pretty sure he put them in position to get money, but he probably wanted more money. Because one thing Safari do, he walk around with fur coats, he walk around with all this jewelry on his neck, looking like a target. So his friend like, God damn, I wanna live like that, and he got greedy, now he got 18 years. That's why me personally, I don't care about no rings, no chains, no watches. When I got my first big YouTube check, I could have got a couple of chains, some watches or whatever, but I didn't, because I know I ain't going nowhere but down into the 7-Eleven. So I ain't about to get robbed, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta stay safe, you gotta stay smart. And if you can afford to have some security, do that shit. Just stay safe, man. What y'all think about this, your boy B? Moots.